Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is the awaited NecoCon haul from 2018. So NecoCon this year, I didn't actually, I feel like I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, I certainly spent a lot of money, but I, I feel like I didn't buy a ton. Um, but the things I did buy are special and amazing and awesome and I love them and I can't wait to show them all to you. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the artist alley first. So the first thing I want to show you is this Magical Girl University heart shape pin. This is from Sweet Bits Apparel. I actually have their Magical Girl University sweatshirt. I'm actually wearing it right now because it is super nice and I am kind of cold. Um, so, but uh, what you probably can't really see is that there is like a holographic like star glittery pattern in there too and it's just really cute and it's really sweet and I had to buy it because I love their stuff. Next is from an artist I believe named Grandma Thunderpants. <laughs> um, but I bought this magical girl necklace. I was between the necklace and the charm or not the charm, the button. Um, pin. It's not a button, it's a pin. I can speak today. I'm so very tired from the con. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got this Magical Girl necklace. Um, it has a really nice long chain. Um, it's like acrylic and stuff. They had a ton of really super cute uh, button, or not buttons, but charms. Or Yeah, they had charms. They had necklaces and they had uh, little pins. And I loved all of their pins. They they were all such a mood, like soft and scared, and hold me with your yaoi hands. I mean, classic, really. Um, but also from them, I bought this this little keychain here. Um, it has like this little heart shaped carabiner, and it has little sweets on there, and like this hot pink pom pom, and then the black moon is what drew me to it. The black moon and the the pink pom pom. That just screams Black Lady, and you know how much I love Chibiusa and Black Lady. Um, I do have full intentions of starting a second Eda bag for Chibiusa because I have no self control. Um, I'm just probably gonna hold off for a bit until I get more merch, but this is definitely gonna be like a little keychain on it, um, just a little ad decoration, um, just to, to make it a little bit more mine. Also in the Artist Alley, um, somebody was selling some uh, OnStars buttons. Now, um, I've kind of grown out of OnStars. I still like it. Um, I don't pay too much attention to it anymore. Um, I still have my Kato and Ray bag. Obviously, I bought these. Uh, but I happened to see that Kato was in the bin, and I was like, oh, well, I'll get Kato if Ray's here. But I doubt Ray's here because he's always super popular. And as we went through the bin, we found Ray. So I was like, great, now I have to buy them. Because I am a sucker for my boys. These are my two boys, and I love them very much. Um, I did get a third button. Uh, it was Arashi, but that was for Sarah. Um, that way, Sarah... Because it was like three for a certain amount, like three for eight dollars or something like that. And I might as well for two dollars more because I think these were six together. So for two dollars more, that wasn't bad. So I, I don't have the Arashi one obviously anymore. Um, that one went to Sarah. But yeah, I got two star shaped pins with uh, Kato and Ray. I also bought this Magical Girl first aid kit little pencil case type pouch. Um, it's really, this looks more Menhara, is that the, the J fashion that's really popular right now? That's a lot of like band-aids and nurse motifs and pills and everything like that. Um, I think it's a little, it fits all that a little bit more, but I'm a sucker for anything that says Magical Girl on it. And it's, um, it's big enough that I can actually put more things because I do have a small first aid kit with, that I take with me to conventions, um, but it is quite small, so I, uh, this will be nice to actually put more things in, um, in case I need, like, certain medications or something like that, and it'll also be nice to stick, like, pads or tampons or anything like that that girls need that, you know, would be first aid. <laughs> Uh, so I got that 
and it's really nice. Um, it's nice quality. It's I don't remember how much this was, um, and I don't remember the artist that made it either, unfortunately. Um, I do know that I have seen this before, like this print and this little pouch. I saw it online, but I don't remember where. If I can remember where, I'll link it in the description down below. Alright, so the last thing that I bought in the Artist Alley is from Bunnies and Cream. Now, last year I bought one Magical Girl candle, and I used all of it so this I bought a brand new one and it smells super sweet and kind of like how you would imagine like a magical girl smells it smells so good I love it so much um, I loved it enough that I bought two <laughs> I wanted to get more than one because I did use up all of them one that I got last year and I used that within a few months because I kept lighting it because it smelled so good um, so I got two of these because I was real excited about it. Um, on top of that, I finally now have a working bathtub in my house, so I bought the bath bomb that Magical Girl scented, and I'm really excited to use this. I don't know if I'm going to use this one tonight or not, because the other option I have is the filler episode, which this one smells really sweet, um, more fruity. Uh, it's really beachy and fruity, and I love it. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I'm definitely going to use one of these guys tonight, and it's going to be great. Alright, so, now for the dealer's room stuff. So, from Sugar Bunny Shop, which is the people who have Gamer Cat and um, Lavender and stuff, I bought this necklace. This is one of two necklaces. Jay has the other one, but it's a best friend's necklace. It's a little cat. Um, I let Jay pick which one they wanted. Um, they picked the black cat, so I got the white one. And the black one is basically the same way. It looks exactly the same as this, except it's flipped. And uh, they have a white spot over one eye, while I have the white cat with a black spot. Like a yin-yang. Because, you know, best friend stuff. And I believe mine says friend, and theirs says best. So... It's really cute. This was $20 for the two necklaces, and I did not wear it today mainly because I was really, really tired, but I wore it all day yesterday after I bought it. It's really cute. It is a little cat. They had unicorn ones, and I think I probably would have preferred the unicorn ones, but the unicorn ones were also much bigger, and I, this is something a little bit more subtle, so I went with the more subtle thing. <laughs> now for figures. First thing. I have this Cuposket. Um, this one is Cure Dream from Yes Go Go or Yes Pretty Cure Go Five Go Go. I have not seen that season of Pretty Cure. Um, this is just really cute, though. I did see this on Friday, and I kind of regret not buying it on Friday because on Friday they had Cure White there too, and I missed out on buying Cure White. Um, I kind of wish I did get her, but uh, Futariwa is most definitely not my favorite, and I've only seen a few episodes of that. Um, it hasn't aged well is what it is, but I haven't seen this one at all, and yet I still bought it. And I mean, I bought all the stuff last year that I hadn't seen either, but I still bought it. Um, but she's really cute. She has a really nice face. She has large eyes. And she has a lot of detail on her. And like, this is just really, really well made. And I know the Cuposkets are really popular right now. Um, they do like a ton of different things. I know there's like Disney ones and stuff, and they're all super duper cute. Um, but these were made for the Pretty Cure 15th anniversary. So they, I guess they're going through all of them. I don't know. But next to Cure Dream, also from Yes Pretty Cure 5 Go Go, is Cure Lemonade. I would not know their names if their names was not on the box, but she's actually really cute. Um, I really like her hair. Like, I like the curl. I think that's really unique and cute. And she's got little flowers in her face. She also has very large eyes. I think her face is a little bit more downturned than the other, or than a uh, dream. Um, but unfortunately, her head won't like stand up. It's not like a ball that you can rotate the head on. It's just you stick the, the head on the neck peg. 
so I'm not a huge fan of how down her and she looks but she is still really super cute and here's like her outfit she's got little shorts on and her little boots if I'm being perfectly honest I kind of like it when the pretty cure um, seasons like all the the ones that are in the season all match each other so this these two together they look like they match and they belong in the same season so they have like these gloves and then like their boots are similar um, and they have the bow and they have their little case that holds their transformation item so I kind of like it when they look similar and they look like they belong together versus like um, Precure a la mode where the, you know they all have animal motifs and they all have their signature color but they don't actually look uniform and Hagato right now with uh, Yell, uh, Etoile, and Anj, they don't look like they belong in the same series together. So sometimes that kind of bothers me. Versus um, Machete and Amor, who actually, because of how they got their powers, they match each other. So that's just my personal preference. I kind of so the fact that I got two of the Precure from Precure Five together is really nice. And I can't wait to add them to my shelf. I have no idea where they're going to go on my shelf because that shelf is very full. The last but not least, it's time for the big one. This is the Deluxe Adventure Doll for Sailor Chibi Moon from the 90s for the American release from like the original one. It says Rini on it. Rini, her old dub name. I love this doll. It's it's not the best quality. Uh, there's a lot of things, you know, like the skirt fabric isn't great and her hair is clearly a mess and those rubber bands are dying. Um, however, this doll actually means quite a lot to me, not just because it's Chibi Yusa, but because I actually own this doll already. I have this doll already. I don't have her in the box though, so this one is going to stay in the box. But the thing about the doll that I already own is, she's very well played with. I've had her since I was a kid. Um, I'll actually link it up in the corner here, um, a video of my um, old Sailor Moon collection from when I first started my channel several years ago. Uh, but yeah, I actually own this doll already. I still love her very much and I'm happy to have her in the box and she will stay in the box. Um, they did have Tuxedo Mask. Uh, tuxedo Mask was $50 which is kind of expensive for Tuxedo Mask but considering that Chibiusa here was only um, $40 but then again also like these dolls go for a lot more usually because they're so old and so rare at this point. Um, especially since this is from the American release because these are these are not the Japanese dolls these are the American release dolls um, and like on the side of the box it gives you like the story of Sailor Moon and like it says Serena <laughs> um, but like the thing is is Chibiusa and Chibi Moon Chibiusa doesn't show up until season two <laughs> Queen Barrel is season one <laughs> Chibi Moon doesn't show up until season three. <laughs> um, this doll was like released way before she was supposed to because I remember seeing her at Suncoast. If anybody remembers what a Suncoast is, uh, I remember seeing her at Suncoast in like 2000 and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe Chibi Moon or I can't believe Chibi Yusa becomes a Sailor Scout. She becomes a Sailor Scout. And then on the back, it has the other adventure dolls and their names and the descriptions. And then I love, I love the dolls. Look at that. Favorite food, peanut butter and jelly and ice cream. Favorite food, sandwiches. Favorite food, cherry pie and meatloaf. Favorite food, any pasta. Favorite food, vegetarian pizza. Don't you love the old dub, guys? No one can convince me that the old dub wasn't a treasure. I will love it forever. 
Also, look at how all of them have the same boots on, despite only Mercury and Moon wearing boots. I don't believe they actually were released with those boots, because, um, it, yeah, they're not, because I have some of these dolls. Duh, Rebecca. Um, they, they do have their actual shoes, and not just boots. <laughs> Alright, and there's everything that I bought from NecoCon this year. Alright, and with that, I will see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.